let us see about the number system there are different types of number system one is the decimal number system which we normally use another one is the binary number system which will consist of zeros and ones the octal and hexadecimal number system are used in digital circuits which is actually derived from binary system so it will be similar to a binary one let us see about each number system in detail first let us see about the decimal number system so we know decimal numbers varies from 0 to 9 okay so totally 10 numbers are there so we call the base of this decimal number as 10 suppose i want to measure the height so how do you measure I can say it is 100 centimeter or 110 centimeter or 102.3 centimeter. So I can have a fractional part also. For example, let us take this number 45. This is a decimal number. So if you see a decimal number, each position of the digit. So here it is a two digit number. 4 and 5 are there so 5 is in this position whereas 4 is in different position so depending upon the position the value of the number will change so this is said to be 1's position and this is 10's position it means that 45 can be written as 4 into 10 plus 5 into 1 Okay. So, this last one is 1's position. So, I am multiplying 1 and the next one is 10's position. So, I am multiplying by 10. So, this is equal to 40 plus 5. Let us take another example 456. So, it is a 3 digit number. The 6 is in 1's position. 5 in 10's position and 4 is in 100's position because this will be moving in the power of 10. So, this is 10 power 0 is equal to 1. This 5 is 10 power 1. So, that is 10's position. 4 will be in 10 power 2. That is 10 square. 10 square is nothing but 100. So, this is 100's position. So, this 456, I can write it as 4 into 100 or 4 into 100 plus 5 into 10 plus 6 into 1. So, which will come as 456. Now, take another example 45.6. The same number but I have included a decimal point here. So, this is the decimal point. So, when you keep a decimal point here, this value will change. See here, now 5 is in 1's position and 4 is in 100, sorry, 10's position. 6 will be in 1 by 10th position. That is, after the fractional point, you have to take it as 1 by 10. 1 by 100, 1 by 1000. Like that it moves on here, this side, after the decimal point. So, this can be written as 4 into 10 plus 5 into 1 plus 6 into 1 by 10, which is nothing but 10 power minus 1. So, this is 40 plus 5. 6 into 10 power minus 1 is 0. 0.6. So, 45.6. Next we have binary numbers. So the binary numbers are either 0 or 1. So the base will be equal to 2. Only 2 numbers are here. So base is 2. Normally this binary number system will be used in computers. They either have a high value which is equal to 1 or a low value which is equal to 0. 
in other words you can say you have only two options either it is true or it is false okay you don't have in between choice so either it can be true or it can be false so two levels only will be there zero and one take this binary number which includes ones and zeros so the each digit in a binary number is said to be a bit so the all these are called bits so this is a bit this is a bit and this is a bit so this number as a whole represents some decimal number and this last bit is called least significant bit and this last bit is called most significant bit because this most significant bit has more value compared to the least significant bit that is if i change this 0 to 1 there will not much difference in the decimal value you cannot find much difference in the equivalent values whereas if i change this 1 to 0 it will have a huge difference in the equivalent decimal value for example you have a thousand rupees if you change to 1001 it is not going to make much difference instead of that instead of thousand i am having only 900 it has a huge difference so that is what this this left side part is called most significant bit because it has more value compared to the least significant bit take this binary number let us find the equivalent decimal number you see here how many digits are there 8 are there it means that 8 bits are here so each bit has a different value we have seen that this is the most significant bit and this is the least significant bit now let us see the weightage for this position it is 2 power 0 why do we take 2 because the base of binary number system is 2 in case of a decimal number we took it as 10 power 0 10 power 1 it means that for decimal number the base is 10 so here it is a binary number system so the base is 2 we are writing 2 power 0 2 power 1 so you increase the power it is a 8 bit system so we have till 2 power 7 so what is the value of 2 power 7 it is 128 2 power 6 is 64 then 2 power 2 is 4 2 power 1 is 2 and 2 power 0 is 1 now you see the value of this MSB it is equivalent to 128 this LSB has a value equivalent to 1 now you understand the difference between most significant bit and least significant bit least significant bit has very less value most significant bit has a more value now let us convert this to decimal 1 it's a very easy method you see 1 is here what is the equivalent value 128 so this 1 into 128 equivalent decimal number is equal to 128 plus these two are 0 leave it this 1 into 16 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1 so this is equal to 155 so this binary number is equivalent to 155 in decimal now in most problems or numericals which we get in exam only four bits will be given so it is very easy to remember this um, conversion so write 8421 above the given binary number then add all the ones okay. so here it is 8 plus 2 10 10 plus 1 it's 11 so this is equivalent to 11 in decimal so you always remember this 8421 sequence it will be very easy to convert to decimal 
Now we will convert the decimal numbers to equivalent binary numbers. So decimal number, let us write it here, 0 to 9 I have written here. What will be the equivalent binary number? For 0 it is 0, 1 it is 1. But for 2 what happens? Because in binary we have only 2 numbers 0 and 1. So how to represent 2? So what can I do? This 1 I have to add 1. So what is 1 plus 1? It is equal to 1 0 in binary. How do I say it is 1 0? Let us check whether this is correct first. So what is the weightage for this position? 2 power 0 and for this position it is 2 power 1. So you add it what it will come? 2 plus 0. So it is equivalent to 2. So for decimal number of 2 the equivalent binary number is 1 0. You can put this 8 4 2 1 and check. 0 0 for 2 you put 1 remaining term it is 0. Okay. So now equivalent decimal value is 2 for 1 0 equivalent decimal value is 2. Next we will find for 3. For 3 what you have to do? This 1 0 I have to add 1. So this 1 0 plus 1 will give me 1 1. So I can write 1 1 or you take this 8 4 2 1 sequence. I want 3. So if I want 3 what should I do? Here 1, here 1 should be there and these two parts should be 0. So 0 0. 1 1. So if I add these two I will get 3. So 1 1 is equivalent for 3. Similarly for 4 if I want 4 what I have to do? I have to put 1 here remaining bits are 0. So 1 here remaining bits 0. So this is equivalent to 4. And for 5 add 1 this one and this term will have 1. Then it will become 5. So like that you can do. You find 7. All 3 bits will be equivalent to 1, 1, 1. 4 plus 2 plus 1 will become 7. Okay. So till 7 you can use 3 bit. After 7 that is from 8 you have to go for 4 bits. So we have seen about decimal number, binary number, then we have octal number and hexadecimal number which are derived from the binary number. Let us see how and where they are used. First we will see why do we need this octal number system. You see this binary number, it is very difficult to read and write. We can't remember anything here and moreover it is uh, it occupies more space because more number of bits are involved. Instead of this, what I am doing is I am combining three bits together. Okay, so that it becomes more user friendly as well as my storage space is reduced. So what I am doing, I am combining three bits together. Three three bits I will take. And what is 0, 0, 1? It is equivalent to 1. And what is 1, not 1? It is 5. 1, 0, 0 is 4. And 0, 0, 1 is 1. So if I do so, I am able to remember this one easily or uh, this occupies less space. I can also combine 4 bits together and store it. So if I do combine 3 bits, it is called octal number system. If I combine 4 bits and store it, I call it a hexadecimal number system. In binary number, 8 bits combined together, we call it as a byte. If you see any digital storage uh, devices, always it will be mentioned in multiples of 8 or 16 bit processor or 32 bit processor 64 bit all these are multiples of 16 will be used so that's why you go for 
or you will learn about octal number and hexadecimal number system. It will be 8 or multiples of 8. So we saw about decimal numbers and binary numbers. Next we are going to see about the octal and hexadecimal number. Octal means 8. So here we have 0 to 7 numbers totally equivalent to 8. And in hexadecimal, hexa means 16. So we have 16 numbers. So here we have decimal. So 0 to 9 decimal number will be there. Apart from that, the remaining alphabets are used. A, B, C, D, E, F. So, 6 alphabets are used. So, totally it is 16. So, that is why it is called hexadecimal. For octal number system, we have seen the numbers uh, varies from 0 to 7. So, let us take this uh, binary number. So, to represent it is a binary number. It is uh, denoted by 2 here. So, you have to combine 3 bits together. Why we have to combine 3 bits together? Let us take this chart and see. For octal number varies from 0 to 7. For 7, what is the equivalent binary number? 1, 1, 1. That is, that is the maximum 3 bit number. So, we are combining 3 bits together in octal number system. Okay. So, that is the maximum number we can have. So, we are taking 3 bits in octal number system. Now, you see what is the, uh, what is this value 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 corresponds to 3 in decimal. Again 0, 1, 1 corresponds to 3 and this is 0, 1, 0 which is equivalent to 2. So, 233 to the base 8 is equivalent to this binary number. Always represent the base. Suppose if you forget to represent this or write this 8, then it will be considered as a decimal number. Because for decimal number, it is not necessary to represent the base. By default, it is called a decimal number. If you want to ma make sure that it is a octal number, always put a bracket and write the base. Next we will see the hexadecimal number. The same binary number is given. Here you check the chart. Now let us write the hexadecimal number is 0 to 9 then A to F and this is the equivalent binary number. So what is the final binary number we have? 1111 that is it is a 4 digit number. So, for hexadecimal, we can combine 4 digits together. Okay? Then, find the equivalent value. What is 1011? You find here what is 1011? It is equivalent to B. What is 1001? It is equivalent to 9. So, you can write 9. So, you can put this and find also 8421. You can write and find. So, what is 8, 4, 2, 1? This 8 plus 1. So, it is equivalent to 9. Here you put 8, 4, 2, 1. 10 plus 1, 11. The 11 equivalent is B. So, it is B. So, the points to remember here are decimal numbers, Total 10 is there, binary numbers totally 2 is there and octal numbers 8 numbers are there and hexadecimal we have 16 numbers. If you like the video, please do subscribe to Read Electric Vehicle channel and if you have any doubts, you can mail this to particular mail ID. Thank you.